Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Radash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. What we have on the screen here, brothers, is a constant reminder of why America, Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, aka Egypt, has to be destroyed. And its destiny is to be burned with sulfur and fire. We have to remember that the scripture states, by their words shall they be condemned, and or by their words shall they be justified. Let's listen to the words of this individual here. Let's get right into it. FYI, it's she, her, hers. And you're lucky. You're lucky I'm not trying to be a man. Because if I was, I'd be much better than you are. I listen to women. I respect them. I mean, and most importantly, my shit, it don't go down. So what now? Even the next precepts that automatically came to mind, we have to remember in the book of Romans, it tells us, I believe three times in that first chapter, for the Lord gave them up. The Lord will give up on you. The scripture goes on to say to the fouling pleasures for women have relations with women. You got to understand that's a defiling pleasure, man. And this is why this place is doomed to be burned because it's full of wickedness. It's full of debauchery, right? It's full of self aggrandizement, man. How do we know? Revelation chapter first, 14, verse eight, a second angel followed saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. I want to get something. I want to get something here. Let's go to the English Standard Version. An another angel, a second follow saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, who has made the nations drunk with the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. You have to understand all the other nations follow after America. America is like the blueprint for the world. You know, most nations want to be identical to America. Everyone wants to come to America. Okay? Because America is the trail, the trailblazer. Pardon me. Let's come out of this. Let's go to Revelation chapter 18, verse 9 and 10. So not only are the angels going to be rejoicing because we know this place, the destruction of this place is long overdue. Remember, Yahweh Shai said he wished that this place was already set ablaze. But those who are um, confederate with America and want to be like America, they're going to mourn over this place. Revelation chapter 18, verse 9. When the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared in her luxury, see the smoke of her burning from the, the burning is going to come from the nuclear missiles, right? They will weep and mourn over her. Why is that? What sort of mind, are they, mind state are they going to be in? They're going to be terrified at her torment. They will stand far off and cry, Woe, woe to you, great city, you mighty city of Babylon. In one hour, your doom has come. Because you have to remember, even though America has states and cities, but it's, America is likened unto one huge city. Okay? It's, a, it's, it's symbolic. Let's go from there. What else are they going to be doing when they see this place going up in smoke? Revelation chapter 18, verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying again, what city is like the great city? You got to remember what Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 3. We'll come down to verse 10 because these individuals who are like this, they're not prepared for the coming day of the Lord. They're drunk with the wine of Babylon. They're filled with defiling lust and passion. Only thing they care about is the lust of the flesh. Revel pardon me, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. These people are going to be completely unaware. The heavens will disappear with the roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. What kind of fire? Nuclear war fire. Okay? The earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Verse 11, since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people are you ought to be? 
to the elect. What kind of people are we ought to be to the hopeful elect? You ought to be, you ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward. We look forward to this. As you look forward to the day of Yahweh and speed its coming. We want this day to come. We want this place to be destroyed. Let me continue where I left off at. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. Man, it's like you want to see this occur. You want to see this happen because you understand that this place is defiled. Okay, but we also are looking to the coming kingdom. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a better we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwell. See, brothers, this shit here won't be dwelling in our kingdom, right? But the Lord first has to bring fire to purge this place. You understand? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Or do you not know wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Nor do not, pardon me, I'm getting a little excited. Do not be deceived, neither the sexual, immoral, or idolaters, or adulterers. Let me come back to something. That explains this individual here, the sexual, immoral. Do you understand what idolatry is, what that looks like in the flesh? This individual has the spirit of idolatry all over her. The scripture says, make no cuttings in thy flesh. You can easily see around the chest area, this individual has cut off and removed her breast and also has marked up her flesh with tattoos you have to understand not only is this individual full of demons but america is full of this spirit we come out of this here let's go to revelation chapter 15 verse 1 we want to be in this group here brothers i saw in heaven another great and marvelous sign seven angels with seven last plagues Last, because with them, Yahweh's wrath is complete. And I saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire. And standing beside the sea, those who had been victorious over the beast and its image and over the number of its name. The beast is America Babylon the Great. The image is this image here. You took it upon this ways, its customs. You take it upon its, its, its train of thought. Right? Because your mind isn't set on what's above. Your mind is set on what's going on in this Babylonian demonic field place. And the number of its name. Meaning that RFID chip. The 666. Okay? They held harps given them by Yahweh. What did they do? And they sang the song of Yahweh's servant Moses. And of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your deeds. The Lord Yahweh Almighty. Just and true are your ways. King of the nations. Let's close out with this precept here. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7. Those who are victorious will inherit all this. And I will be their power. And they will be my children. This is what we have to look forward to brothers. The angels rejoicing at the destruction of this place. The other nations mourning at the destruction of this place. Those of us who are of the hopeful elect, who don't take the mark, who don't worship its image, who don't take the name, who don't take the RFID chip, who don't take upon this nation's ways. We're going to rejoice with the Lord. Are we watching this place be destroyed? But those who are wicked, two-thirds, the other nations, these people, this place is going to be destroyed and burned. That's what awaits this place. That's what the other nations are going to witness and mourn over. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Shalom.